Hi, welcome back. Good to have you along with us. Saw quite a few handsome looking snowmen on the way into work today. It was a good one for snow. We're still seeing some on the grassy surfaces around roads. Most of the roads are in good shape right now, but that could change before the night's over with. This is a live look from our Bob Mills Furniture Sky Live weather camera on the HK Dodge and Loop on the south side of Temple. We still have the winter weather advisory up for the shaded areas here. We have cleared uh, Bryan College Station, the Brazos Valley. Uh, the Georgetown area on back through Burnett County, Llano County, up through San Saba into Brown County. You're out of the woods. The only reason we're keeping it here is because the low sits down along the Gulf Coast right now. We could see a little bit of moisture rolling back over that coming around on the back side of it. So there's the possibility of maybe a few snow flurries. I don't see a whole lot of additional accumulation in the forecast for us for the remainder of the evening. Here's a problem. We've got moisture still on road surfaces. It may be liquid form right now, but these temperatures are very close to freezing already. And as we go through the evening hours, our temperatures will drop down into the mid 20s. It looks like so you're going to have refreezing of this moisture that's in place. Not a whole lot of traffic in the overnight hours, so you're going to run into some areas that's going to have some of the black ice that we talk about from time to time this time of the year, which is it's ice. You just can't see it. It blends in with the asphalt, so be mindful of that and slow down as we keep telling you and use uh, extreme caution. Take your time getting to school or work tomorrow. 33 was the low temperature today. 43 the high temperature of the day. On average, our readings about nine degrees cooler than they normally would be. And here is the precipitation total. This is 65 hundredths of an inch in liquid form. Now, roughly an inch of snow will equal one tenth of an inch of water, and that works out pretty much what we've talked about. We were looking for anywhere from uh, four to six inches of snow today in some spots officially. Now, before the snow, we did have rain, so that's why we put it into a liquid form for you for the record books tonight down in the mid 20s. I know that's a lot to digest tonight down in the mid 20s. Wind chills are going to make it feel like it's probably close to 20 degrees first thing in the morning. Tomorrow we're looking at blue skies mixed with some fair weather clouds and the high temperatures getting up close to 50 degrees for as warm as we're going to get tomorrow. Here it is cloudy to partly cloudy tonight. Cold wind chill of 20 actual air temperature in the morning 27 and a light north wind. Winds will increase during the day tomorrow 5 to 10 miles an hour. That's not real bad, but it is. It's a little raw if you're going to be out in the kind of weather. So bundle up. 42 will be the high. 25 Tuesday morning. 29 Wednesday morning. And then a little milder conditions for us on Thursday and Friday. Friday we got another front coming through. You've got a big three-day weekend on tap for us next weekend with the Martin Luther King holiday coming up a week from tomorrow. Uh, warm up, but another cool down on the way for us on Sunday. Jasmine. All right, thanks, Andy.